What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Dylan. Today we've got a pretty awesome vlog to just kind of run through with you guys. We're going to be talking about the newly released Amazon show. This was just released on Wednesday, June the 28th and I was able to get myself one. If you're not familiar with the Amazon show, you may be familiar with the Amazon Echo or the Amazon Dot. Now the Echo was released about two, two and a half years ago. It was huge. It was uh, pretty much an AI in a box. You can ask it to anything you want to know. It's still a big hit in the market right now for those who are interested in it. The Amazon Dot was just released about last year. Anyway guys, let's check out this unboxing of the Amazon show. Hello. Echo, what is the Echo show? The all new Echo show pairs everything you love about me with a screen. You can watch video flash briefings in YouTube, or see music lyrics, photos, weather forecasts, and more. You can pre-order it at Amazon.com slash Echo Show. You guys can see we have here the Echo Show, and in front of me we have the Echo Dot. I do not have the Echo anymore, I was able to sell that off. The Echo Show does come in two colors, we've got the white color on my right, and the black color on my left. So the great thing about the Echo Show is, is you can do a lot of things with this device. Similar to what you can do with the Echo and the Echo Dot. You can do anything from music, calendar, to-do list, weather, video chat. You can even control your smart home. So if you've got a Philips Hue or any other brand that's out there, you can synchronize it, uh, get it connected to the main hub and control your smart home using your Alexa. In addition, you've got timers. You can also get movie times and do your shopping. So if you have, if you have any pr uh, things that are set up on Amazon, you can say, Alexa, order me some new uh, bath towels or order me some uh, dishwashing soap or order me whatever you wanted to order you. It might not order you the, the correct things. I've tried it once. It didn't put exactly what I wanted in the cart, but it did work out pretty good. Included in the box from what it says is the Echo Show and a power adapter, which is a 21 watt power adapter. We're gonna go with the white and see what that looks like because as you guys can see, I have a Echo Dot right here and that was white. Um, so I wanna go with the white one. Now that's spontaneous where I'll tell you guys a bit more about it later. It's called drop-in. I do not like when people are dropping in on me. I'm a single guy, I can be just relaxing the sofa, watching TV, and then I can have someone just drop in, my grandma, my aunts, my uncles, my brothers. I don't want no one dropping in on me. So I'm actually gonna disable that feature and I recommend that you guys do so too. All right, so let's see what we've got here. This is the white version. Um, I wanted it to go and sort of blend in with my, uh, with my furniture. So it is the reason why I selected the white version. All right guys, so what we've got here is the Amazon show. This is the white version. As you can see, we've got from the back, you've got the Amazon logo, you've got a power adapter here, and you've got the, uh, the screen. Now the one thing that Amazon hasn't told you is this is pretty much like an Amazon kiosk in your home. It's got a touch screen on it and that, that touch screen, it's the screen of the Amazon show never shuts off. It is always on in your apartment. So if you're putting this in your bedroom, we may want to look for a dimming function to see if it has that because it will keep you awake at night. You've got a camera right here, which is always on, and the, the microphones on it are always listening to what you're gonna say. So you wanna just be careful of that. If you're some crazy person that's into whole privacy, then, uh, then you may wanna be a bit concerned. We do receive a card that says Amazon Show and things to try. It talks about the news, alarm, weather, calendar, show, list, shop, and communication. So this is just a pretty much a card and how you can use the Amazon Show. In addition, similar to the Amazon Echo, we do receive a 21 watt power brick. So this is connected to the Amazon Show. And then we've got just some, uh, some instructions, a user guide, just on, off. So it's telling me I can shut off the mic or camera. This is actually, it's a uh, volume up or down. You've got over here, it's gonna be a LED. Red is for mic 
or camera off. If it's green, then you know someone's looking at you. And in the middle, you have got the camera. So let's get this powered up. Uh, let's see what it looks like and uh, get started. Hello, your Echo device is ready for setup. All right, guys, as you guys can see, we are at the network setup selection. So pretty much as you can see, I can see every network that is pretty much appearing in my apartment. Well, I should say my apartment building. Now I'm going to go ahead and select my network. Once you select your network, guys, you're going to be inputting your password. I am going to say yes, that is me. Let's select North America, which is great. Eastern Daylight Time, yes. Important information, don't care about that. Checking for the latest software updates. 20 minutes later. Alexa, call Tina. You can also message or call someone on their supported Echo device or the Alexa app on their phone. Ready for some music? Echo Show fills the room with bold stereo sound. Alexa, show today's most popular songs. Here are our popular songs. Alexa, play number two. And with Amazon Music, you can follow along to the lyrics of your favorite songs. Come on, come on, turn away. Alexa helps you take control of your busy life. Alexa, show me sushi restaurants. Here are a few nearby popular ones. You can watch movie trailers or even watch your favorite shows and movies from Amazon Video. Alexa, play the grand tour. Alexa is always getting smarter. To get a list of things to try, just ask, Alexa, what can I say? And when you want to go back to the home screen, say, Alexa, go home. Enjoy your new Echo Show from Amazon. So I'm going to say, you know, just for the sake of it, let's do start your 30 day trial for free. See what it's going to do. So my music is now unlimited. I have a 30 day trial. This way I can kind of show you guys 87 degrees outside. Your Echo Show is ready. Thank you, Echo. Alexa, what can I do? You can say, set a repeating alarm, or do not disturb. You can ask me to show more. Alexa, show more. Alexa, what's playing in the theaters? Here are a few movies playing near you today. Despicable Me 3, Transformers, The Last Night, Wonder Woman, Baby Driver. Alexa, what's the temperature this week? In Woodside for the next seven days, Saturday, 83 degrees and some sun and thunderstorms. Sunday, 89 degrees and intermittent clouds. Monday, 89 degrees and mostly sunny weather. Alexa, how do I get from here to Grand Central? The fastest route to Grand Central at 89 East 42nd Street takes about 24 minutes via Skillman Avenue and I-495. Alexa, show me a video on YouTube about cats. Here's what I found. By the way, YouTube restricted mode is currently on. To turn it off, go to restrict access in settings. Alexa, go to restrict access in settings. Here's settings. Let's see what we've got going on here, guys. It's telling me that Restrict access, prime photos, block search, block search from YouTube. I do not want to have anything that's... Give me one second, guys. It looks like I have to verify this. And just like I was showing you guys before how the keyboard is set up. So you can actually talk or you can actually write. It's kind of like uh, a quirky keyboard you've got here. So it's easy when you're typing. All right, from what you guys can see here, my YouTube restricted mode is off. Just a couple of the modes it has. It looks like we've got Bluetooth. We've got your Wi-Fi access, your home screen. Let's see what it says about home screen. Background, it looks like we can change our backgrounds. Alexa photos, prime photos, 
Um, let's see what else we've got. Home card preference. Rotate once. Not sure what those are, but that's kind of, oh, here's drop in. Now, this is something that I kind of mentioned at the beginning of my vlog about this whole drop in. So I don't just want anyone to drop in in my apartment. So I'm going to turn that off because I'm concerned about privacy. Now, how drop in works is you do set up a list of approved people who can pretty much just drop in. So you can walking out of the shower, you can kind of like working out in your apartment, have some guests over and bam, you've got some family members just kind of staring at you in a very creepy way. I'm not into that stuff. So I'm going to turn that off and let's see what we've got. Upcoming events, trending topics. We can keep that. Let's go to background really quick. I don't want to do the default. So it says photos needed. I can't do that. Let's see prime photos. Don't have that because I don't have a full prime account. I just set up the music. So we'll just go with the default and there's no auto selection. We've got, so we did, let's see what the display says. The team, light background, dark text, dark background, light text. We've got an ambient clock. We've got some brightness, which is great because this will help dim the, uh, the Alexa show in the night. As you can see, this will, this will help dim the, the show because it might be just too bright at night, so that's great. You've got an ambient clock. That might be, it says display clock when your device is inactive, which is amazing. And adapt to brightness. So here we go. Adapt to brightness, so um, it will adjust to the light in the room. So if it's too dark, it probably will get brighter. If it's too bright, it will get darker. We've got some sounds custom sounds, alarm, notification, request sounds, end of request. Let's go backwards. Your restricted access, do not disturb. So you can set up a do not disturb in the night if you don't want people to pop in. Device options, Dylan Seco Echo, second Echo Show. That's because I purchased two Echo Shows. Device location, that is wrong. So we're going to change that. So let's say done. Wake word, I'm going to say Alexa. Let's see if I can say echo. Now, the only reason I changed the word to Echo is because I want to do a quick comparison between the Echo Dot and the Alexa Show. You've got date and time. And that is pretty much it. Echo, play a song by Katy Perry. Shuffling songs by Katy Perry. They know what is what, but they don't know what is what. They just strut. What the fuck? A tiger. Don't lose no sleep. Don't need opinions from my shellfish. What's great about this is, as you guys can see, I'm watching a Katy Perry song, and you can actually read the words, which is amazing. You can also shuffle through, you can turn up the lyrics if you don't want it, or you can go to the next song. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag drifting through the wind? All right guys, so now that we've seen the, uh, the settings function on the Echo Show, let's take a look at just sort of the responses between the Echo Show and the Amazon Dot. So let's see how they respond if I ask them questions. So I'm gonna I set them up both of them with the same keywords. This way they both can respond at the same time. Echo, what time is it? The time is 4.40 p.m. The Echo Show picked that up. Echo, what's the weather outside? 
Currently, in Long Island City, it's 86 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. Tonight, you can look for some clouds with a chance of thunder showers, with a low of 75 degrees. That is very interesting that it seems like the Echo Show takes priority over the Echo Da. Let's see if I can uh, mute this. Echo, what's the temperature outside? In Long Island City, it's 86 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. Tonight, you can look for some clouds with a chance of thunder showers with a low of 75 degrees. And guys, this is not the best comparison because I'm, what I'm just trying to do is show you the difference between an Echo Dot and an Echo, Echo Show. The better comparison would be between the Amazon Echo and the Echo Show because this is a $49 um, piece of equipment versus a $229. But I wanted to kind of show you what the difference will feel at home. Let's see if I can switch this up a bit. Echo go to settings. Here's settings. And the reasons why I'm going to switch it because I think the Amazon show does take priority over the Echo Dot. So I'm going to go to I'm going to change the word to Alexa. Let's go with that. This way we can sort of see the response is different. Echo, play Z100 on iHeartRadio. Getting your Z100 station from iHeartRadio. Echo, stop. Alexa, play Z100 on iHeartRadio. Getting your Z100 station from iHeartRadio. Now that's a huge difference. I mean, you get something that's a little bit more visually, um, the sound quality is better. So if you're gonna invest in an Amazon product, whether it's the Echo, the Echo Show, or the Echo Dot, I, you know, so far I am really loving the Amazon Echo Show. Alexa, play gaming videos on YouTube. Here's season one, episode two. Alexa, stop. No. Alexa, play the trailer for Transformers on YouTube. Playing top result from YouTube. It started as a legend. Now this is actually pulling the top One results the for world. Transformers. Thousand years we've kept it hidden. Now you're looking here at the a pretty much a seven inch screen. Was destined to arrive. Optimus Prime. I can give you guys an idea. Destroy looking your at the iPhone. And seek redemption. So that's the iPhone right here, and that's the screen. It's pretty much about a pretty large screen. I do. Alexa, pause. Alexa, resume. This is, guys, this is fantastic. The quality of the screen is amazing. It looks good. It's, uh, I'm just waiting to see what the next level is that they can, uh, they can take this. So I have YouTube TV. Alexa, pause. I have YouTube TV. So let's see if I can see that. And I also have uh, YouTube Red. Alexa, play live TV.
Well, this is clearly not live TV, but it's kind of giving us. Alexa, stop. It's kind of giving us just an overview, some more commercials. I wish I can go here and see. Oh, here we go. Let's see what we can get here from YouTube. So you've got trailers. Ah, here we go. This will take you sort of what you'll see on an iPad, but usually we're able to go right here and hit sign in. Now, I've tried leaving this up for quite some time and it doesn't go anywhere, it just stays in loading. And I mean, if I've got the internet speeds to load a video in such high quality, it should, this should have been a breeze to kind of get to. So maybe this is something that YouTube is blocking, or the Alexa is blocking, or the Amazon is blocking, I should say. And it's just something, it's just not a feature that's not available yet. It would be great if I can say, play my recent videos or something like that. Um, unfortunately, it is not doing that. I can't target some of my favorite YouTube channels that I do watch um, because I cannot log into the account. And if I do log in, it would pick up that I am a YouTube Red customer, so I would get music for free. So I'm guessing those are part of the reasons why it does not give me access. So let's try this. Alexa, go home. So as you can see, we're back home. We're, we are always gonna get these Alexa tips. Let's try what it just said. Alexa, rap for me. My name is Alexa and I'm here to say, I'm the baddest AI in the cloud today. Your responses are fast, but mine are faster. Sucker speech engines, they call me master. Oh yeah, you go Alexa. Let's try this. Alexa, call Ronaldo Chan. Ronaldo Chan, right? Yes. Two thousand years later. He's probably like, what the hell is going on? Because I'm actually getting a, it's, it, it usually says, right? Oh, oh my God. gosh, what are you talking to me from? Dude, look, it, guys, it's working. There's my brother. So you're actually on the vlog. <laughs> so this is my brother. We're actually seeing him. Um, as you guys can see right now, he is uh, communicating through, you have what, an iPhone 7 or a 6? Six, I think. So six, six plus. This is my little niece, Madison. Um, you guys look pretty clear. Can you hear me good? It's pretty clear. That's why I'm asking you. What are you calling me from? Is it the? I'm. I'm not even touching my phone. I'm calling you from the the Amazon show. Do I look clear? Nice. Do, do I look decently clear? Very clear. Very clear. So the quality. Is I, good. That's why I'm a little bit surprised. It's actually better than FaceTime. So it's got an HD camera, guys, and it's also got a five megapixel camera, and you've got a seven inch uh, touch screen. And you can see the clarity of this. He looks pretty good in that. A little bit in the greasy in the face. But he looks pretty good. All right, guys. All right, ciao. Hi, Madison. All right. Take care. I'll see. Bye. I'll see you guys soon. Bye, Madison. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye. All right, guys. So that is pretty much it from uh, for the vlog. I mean, now this... connected to Dylan's iPhone 7 Plus. Let's see. Uh, let's see if I can pull up a recipe, right? Because if I'm cooking in the kitchen, I need to make some pasta. Alexa, show me how to make pasta. The skill. All recipes can help you with that. Did you want to enable it? Yes. Searching for pasta, I found sausage pasta, basic pasta, pasta salad, and lots more. You can choose a recipe by just saying its name, the number by it, or simply selecting it using the screen. Alexa, one. Sausage pasta. Ooh. It has 4.5 out of 5 stars with thousands of reviews, and takes 45 minutes. You can ask for ingredients, or see cooking directions on your screen. Here are the directions for sausage pasta. Step 1. Bring a large pot of lightly salted water to a boil. Step 2. Add pasta and cook for 8 to 10 minutes or until al dente. Drain and reserve. You can see the rest of the steps on the screen. You can also start a new search. Alexa, stop. Goodbye. Alexa, 
Order me a Poland spring water. All right. Alexa, take a picture of what I want to order. Okay, pick a camera. Single shot. I'm not sure what this is, guys, but... Saving to Prime Photos. Oh, I guess it just took a photo of me. All right, let's try something different. I think from what I... From what I know, you can place an order. Let's see what we have here. If, from what I know, we can place an order. Oh, four shots, let's try this. Saving to prime photos. Oh, uh, that's so funny, guys. That's so funny. I mean, the camera is pretty decent. It's a five me megapixel camera. Add sparkling Poland spring water to my shopping list. I've put sparkling Poland spring water on your shopping list. Alexa, put a new Amazon Echo Show on my shopping list. What should I add? Amazon Echo Show. I've added Amazon Echo to your shopping list. I don't want an Amazon Echo, but I wanted a show. But guys, I mean, you can easily swipe it or you can hit the, the, the plus mark. Alexa, show me my calendar. I don't see a calendar set up. To link your calendar, go to the settings page in your Alexa app. Alexa, what time is Transformers playing tonight? Here are three of the theaters playing Transformers. The last night near Long Island City tonight. UA Kaufman Astoria Stadium 14, Williamsburg Cinemas, AMC Kips Bay 15. Let me know which one you'd like. Alexa, set timer for one minute. One minute, starting now. Guys, how amazing this is. Alexa, show me my email. One for Dylan Chan, from Dylan Chan. Now you can call and message your friends and family that have Echo devices. To set up additional members of your family, download and install the app on their phone. Received about 20 minutes ago. Alexa, send Ronaldo Chan a text message and say hi. I can send a voice message. Try Alexa, send a message. Alexa, send a message. To whom? Ronaldo Chan. What's the message? Yo, what time are you guys getting here? I'm getting hungry. Sending to Ronaldo Chan from Dylan Chan. Alexa, show me what's in the news. Here's your flash briefing. In today's CNET Tech Today update. This is CNET and here are the stories that matter right now. Instagram is implementing machine learning technology in order to defend against offensive comments the company disclosed in a blog post. The process will recognize spam or offensive material. Play CNN. CNN from TuneIn. This issue, an issue of a warning to the Russian president that if you continue to interfere in US, the US democracy and the US elections, you will pay a heavy price for that. Welcome back guys. So pretty much this was an unboxing of the Amazon show. Uh, 1 to 10 compared to the Amazon Echo and the Amazon Dock that I have owned previously. I get much more of an experience uh, with the Echo Show. I mean, I love it. It's now a part of my family to say. It's, uh, you know, I can watch YouTube. Probably want to use it to watch YouTube. It's good to see some of the things visually because Sometimes when I'm aware I didn't hear what my Echo or my Amazon Dock said, it's great to be able to look at the screen. It's also a good tool, like if I don't want to pick up my phone and I can just say, I can just say, Alexa, call Ronaldo Chan or call my brother or call someone, it will do that. What's good about this also is that if you really don't want the Echo to disturb you, you can either just easily hit the, the mute button at the top. It's similar to the Echo Dock. They do have a, uh, a mute button here. 
This has four buttons, this has three, this obviously has a power button. I believe this serves as a uh, boat. My, I guess my brother did get the message because he actually just texted me back and said that he is leaving now, which is amazing. If you are gonna get the Echo Show and you wanna pick one up, please do use my link at the bottom. I am DylanChan.com. I will link the Echo Show to there. You will be able to purchase yourself one. Keep in mind, if you purchase two of them, you can get $100 off. You can give one to a family member. And that $100 off will save you from the 29 because it is it is roughly about 229 so you're technically paying 199 for it. Thanks for checking out my unboxing. I know it was long. I wanted to show you guys a lot of the features that it does have, and that's just scraping the ice. I'm sure this is going to grow just like how the Echo Dot and the Amazon Echo has grown. I'm sure how this is going to grow more is the visual features that we are going to be able to see. Um, and a lot of people are going to be concerned about that whole privacy, about the drop-in, but it seems like it, it has that feature in the settings that you can turn that drop-in off. You can also turn drop-in off via the Alexa app. Drop a like below, guys. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Please, please drop a like. Let's see how much likes we can get in this video. And uh, that's it. Enjoy. Ciao.